I wanted to show you some of the special pieces that our customers have been specking out. This is what we either call made to order or custom order. Everything that you can't get from our regular website. People like to send in their dream wallets and sort of spec them out. So people have noticed this leather right here. This is a brand new leather from Horween and it's a shrunken bison leather. This is a natural texture. And this is a product that they call Yellowstone. The color here is called bourbon. You'll notice that there's a really nice depth of color in this bourbon bison. You can see the peaks of the texture are a little bit darker and the valleys are a little bit lighter and more caramel that sort of indicate the crust color of the leather, that caramel color underneath. The machine gun jack is designed as a minimalist card holder so you can fit plenty of cards in here, but doesn't hold cash particularly elegantly. You'll have to fold it into thirds to fit it inside of here. Up next is a long wallet. This is our largest pattern piece in that same bourbon bison leather. It's great to see a large context of this leather on such a large piece. And that's one of the reasons that I like the long wall is you get to see big variations in a large context, like I said. And on the inside of the long wallet here, you can see all these card holders with that random texture. And this really showcases just how random and unique each of the shrunken bison pieces are. Each skin has very unique texture. So depending on where you cut it, you might get a little bit more consistent texture like you see on the outside. And some of the pattern pieces here are a little bit more coarse. And we have one more wallet in the brand new Bourbon Yellowstone. This is a leather that Horween has released just this year. This is a wallet style that we've sort of discontinued. We don't offer this as a normal item. We call this the JR Fold Wallet. It's a very simple design. You can see it's Simply two pieces of leather, one all across the back here with this little piece sort of flap in the center where you can drop your cash underneath just like this or put some cards in here. The idea of this wallet is that it will mold and form around everything that you put inside of it. It might take about a week for that leather to form very nicely, but once it does form, it will keep this shape right here. So people like this as a minimalist style. And the JR Fold here is named after its originator. This is named after Arnold Horween Jr. He's the third generation owner of Horween Leather Company. He made a wallet just like this, I believe it was in the 70s, that he hand cut himself. So we thought it'd be a fun idea to sort of bring him back into the world in the form of this wallet. Up next is a Capone money clip. Now this one, I believe, this is what we call blood orange shell cordovan. It's sort of in between garnet and amaretto shell. And we actually purchased this from Horwin because this was not a color that they intended to do. You can also see it's got a little bit of modeling from it, but we love unique pieces of leather, which is why we decided to purchase it. I believe this color was originally intended to be dip dyed amaretto, but it turned out much darker and more red than that normal amaretto shell cordovan. You can see this color is sitting on top of some reverse black shell cordovan, and we have a great Horween shell cordovan ink stamp cut right into the exterior center. Each piece of shell cordovan is stamped one time with that stamp. We like to cut it into visible spots and then for made to order wallets, people like to prescribe where that is placed. You can see they've also asked us to cut that into the left card holder on the interior. Now this wallet here is becoming very popular. This is the vertical Frank the Enforcer. It's like our Frank the Enforcer design, except we've oriented the card slots in a different direction. So you can see one, two card slots here. There's a hidden card slot underneath each of those. There's a larger section in the center here, which is the same size as our normal Frank the Enforcer. You can fit US dollars folded in half there. And then on the back, the customer is actually requested to have the same card slots on the back side, which is a little bit of an upgrade. This is not how we normally envisioned it. It's a lot of layers of leather for this one. So if, I would only recommend this if you're using maybe one card for each of the slots. And let's talk about the leather a little bit. This is one of my favorite leathers that I suggest to all of our customers that are looking for patina. Anything that's going to change and develop over time, the raw natural, it ranks at the highest of my list for things that will change the most dramatically. So you can see, it starts off a pretty light sort of sand color, and then it does have a nice bit of depth of color. As I spin this around, you'll notice that color will change a little bit. But even more interesting is just with normal wear, this color becomes much darker, a little bit more golden brown. And then we also notice that the luster develops in layers. So you'll start to see a layer of luster develop on the surface, and then it starts to develop this little bit of an internal glow, I like to call it, like a, a luster underneath that surface, which is really beautiful. And the best part about it is all you have to do is wear it. Up next is a Bugs Moran wallet in a beautiful piece of marbled blue shell cordovan, I believe. That's what this looks like here. I haven't looked at these 
uh, before putting them on camera here. So I haven't really done the research for what they are, but this sure looks like marbled blue shell cordovan. Sometimes the marbled blue can appear similar to the marbled black shell cordovan, but what's really hinting it as blue for me is that aqua green essence. So it sort of looks like denim blue shell cordovan, and then as they've scraped away those layers of finish, we're revealing a little bit more of these like greenish yellow, little bits of tan color as well. This one also has a really nice complementing blue stitching along the outside. And then this is the vertical card slots. You have the same idea as on that vertical Frank one, two card slots here. There's a hidden card slot underneath, and that's the same on the right side. It looks like we've got some marbled blue on top of marbled black. Maybe this is a good example of what I was talking about a second ago. You can see the marble black is a similar concept, but a little bit more green on the marbled black. And we have two pieces here in another leather that I love very much. It'll be sad when this is uh, all gone. This is the 1940s calfskin. Now this is leather that Horween tanned in 1940, and they called it timber tanned calf back in the day. And it's a veg tan calfskin, and it's a true calf. These days you don't really see many true calfskins in the world, and that's what makes this one special. They actually sat on this leather in the tannery for all these years, trying to reproduce it, and they were never able to get it just right. They finally decided to start selling it off a couple of years ago. So Skip Horween has sold us some of this leather to make into wallets for you guys. And this one is a Tony the Ant, which I like to see because we've got these vertical card slots on the interior. Now, this is another thing that we don't normally do. Normally the card slots are oriented in a different direction, but people have been requesting the vertical card slots and we're happy to accommodate that. So the other thing about the 1940s calf is it tends to age very nicely, just like any other light color veg tan leather. So here's another one, Tony the Ant, but this time we have traditional card slots on the inside. So it'd be a good chance for me to show you the difference. Personally, I find the traditional card slots to be much easier to use. I find it to be much easier to get cards inside and out of a larger opening with these thumb notches here. And I think I'm feeling that because I like to use two or three cards in each slot, where I've noticed a lot of customers recently are only trying to put one card in the slot, which is where I suggest the vertical card slots. And here's a really fun custom ordered Johnny the Fox. And this, if you've been following the private stock events, I think we featured this a couple months ago. This is the teal Latigo from Horween and we flipped it backwards because the reverse side of the leather is also finished. This is called the flesh outside or rough outside, some people call it. And for all of our wallets, we like to finish the leather on both sides if it's not cordovan, because it fills in those fibers of the flesh side to make it a little bit more smooth. So that's exactly what you see here. It's almost like a matted down suede that's been filled in with a little bit of resin and then iron smooth. So it, it's kind of smooth, but definitely has like a little bit more roughness when compared to the grain side. The other great side effect of that, of cutting the reverse side of the leather, is we're able to feature sometimes the Horween measuring machine stamp. And that's what you see here. It says Horween USA. And we've got the area of the skin. It looks like this one was 21.6 square feet. I'm also noticing this wallet is hand stitched. Some people like the bold, chunky look of a thicker thread and that's only achieved by doing the hand stitching because super thick thread like this tiger thread here will not fit through any sewing machine. So we have to attach that with hand stitching. That's an upcharge that we're happy to accommodate per request. And it's also really neat to see it contrasting with looks like reverse ultraviolet shell cordovan on the interior here. Something about that baby blue stitching with the reverse ultraviolet just pops. We also have the Horween ink stamp in the center. Let me give you a look at the bill slot here. And we have three more wallets to look at. This is sort of an old classic that we used to do all the time. This is the Fat Herbie. And we call this combination double reverse. The reason we named it that is because you get to see shell cordovan and reverse shell cordovan on the outside of the wallet as well as on the inside here. Let's look at the outside first. We have a really large piece of black shell here. There's something magical about black shell. I've been saying it for years on these videos. It has this really sleek sort of modern look to it that I love. And then when it's sitting on top of the reverse black, which again is that green color, it gives it a really nice contrast. And we've cut the Horween ink stamp into the back center piece here on the bill slot. And here's a look at the interior. This piece in the center is what you're seeing the backside of on the exterior. I wanna explain just for a brief second why this appears green. The black shell cordovan is stained 
using a black dye that is tinted with a little bit of green. And during the process of finishing the shell cordovan, they actually dip the leather into a barrel of water. All that water turns a little bit green and then migrates to the backside of the leather. And the color depends on how long the run has gone on. So the beginning of the run, it might be a lighter, a little bit more tan green. And then later on in the run, the color becomes a little bit more of a forest green, which is also nice. This color here seems to be a little bit in between. Sometimes it's darker, sometimes it's a little bit lighter. And here's a really fun idea. This is probably the first time that I have seen this. This is our Joe Batters wallet. It's sort of like the Capone money clip, but without the clip. And instead of that, we put a bill slot in the back. We have this little stitch that goes down lower to get your bills to fit into the back a little bit more easily. Sometimes it can be a little tough to jam your bill into this section here. But what's great about this Joe Batters is somebody has asked us to orient the card holders backwards. Usually the thumb notch in the opening is right here. So this is a neat concept. Whoever picked up this wallet, it'd be really nice to get your feedback on how that works. And I'd be curious to see if it falls out the side or something. There was a reason that we designed it the other way, but I think if you don't stretch out the leather and then reduce the card carry, this might be a really, really great option. Also raw natural shell cordovan again, I'm noticing the depth of color on this. Just as I spin it around, the color is really dynamic changes a lot depending on what angle you look at it. Let's have a look at the inside here with more raw natural shell cordovan. And the last wallet of the day is our most popular leather and our most popular color. This is the English Tan Dublin on a Johnny the Fox, but this is the Slim Johnny the Fox. So let me try my best to describe the difference. You'll notice that the inside looks pretty similar to our standard Johnny the Fox that we looked at earlier. The difference is the standard Johnny the Fox has an additional layer of leather across the top, which allows us to make a hidden card slot. So the Slim Fox does not have a hidden card slot under here, where the normal Johnny the Fox, you can open up and hide some stuff underneath there. So reducing the amount of leather makes this one a little bit thinner. Therefore, we started to call it the Slim Fox. We didn't have an elegant name for this one. So everybody that has picked up a wallet, uh, hopefully you got to see your made to order and custom wallet in the video here. If you're looking to pick up something, maybe it's something that you've never seen before and you're curious about, maybe you just love the color green, for example, send us an email with your dream wallet and we can let you know what leathers we have and make you up something special. Maybe something like this reverse teal with the Horween measuring machine stamp, hand stitch with the reverse ultraviolet on the inside. Total stunner right here, all of these really really nice looking we'll be sending them out today thanks for checking out the video if you have any questions definitely let me know if you want to pick up a wallet you can email info at ashlandleather.com all right hope you have a good one and take care